Hey guys, it's me, Columbus Games here, and welcome to Milwaukee Dead set, uh, Season 1, Episode 2. I accidentally messed up recording and I had to redo a little bit. So you guys will see the intro to Episode 1. If you want to check that out, you can check a lot of someone else's LP. I don't know. I have to fix that. I don't know. So, yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the gameplay play. So, we're just at the gameplay ready. Clive forgot messed up with the intro to Episode 1. Like what happened in the last episode. But you guys should know, you watched it. Alright. Uh, let's see here. Oh, there's a zombie. Three months later. Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. Well, that's another meal lost. And this. I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take Yeah, this is Mark. We're all hungry. <coughs> no kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it, if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Larry's just... Uh, looking out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. She can take care of herself. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's yeah. a walking pile driver. I know yeah, he I did punch um, Lee in the last did episode. Did he the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. <laughs> yeah, he did just sit in it. <laughs> that tell Lily no more walking dead. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. Worth it. Yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Oh my god. Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. Oh my god. I'll tell you that much, it's not Kenny. It's a whole new group of people. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help him. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> just see if you can get him out. Either <coughs> you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. 
Gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. We had to leave him? Or he trapped his leg. There's no release latch. Oh, no. Shit, walkers. It's now or never leave. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Let Lee, do something! Oh, oh, get it oh. open. Stop! Uh, fuck! This is bad. This is so bad. Try to cut the chain! I'm gonna have to cut you out. No, no, no! Try the trap again! Anything! Let's go! Please. Let's go! We know, Mark. Shut up. Damn it, he just cut off his fucking leg. We don't have time for that. I'm sorry, but we have to go now. Oh God! Shit. Is he? He passed out. God. The Walking Dead. <coughs> Episode 2 Starved for Help. There's little Clementine and Malaria the Rude. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. Oh my what God. are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to <coughs> these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine. You guys fight it out there. God. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. What? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, 
You like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our God. own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. God. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Go, yes, go away, Larry. <laughs> you think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. All right. Goodness gracious. You have four food items t for ten hungry people. God, this is gonna be a wrap. Okay, we're gonna feed. We're gonna feed the uh, kids first. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Oh, I didn't Can realize you your hat's gone. it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Alright. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. Alright, let's get Duck. Hey, Duck. How about a little food? Here. Yeah! Oh, man, I'm so hungry! Alright. Let's try to go to Carly. Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Um, Mark or Kitty? I'm gonna give it to Mark. I'm definitely not giving it to Larry. I'm sorry. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Alright, uh... <coughs> Here, eat something. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. I <laughs> choose to give it to. <laughs> We're not getting it to Larry, that's all I say. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... <sighs> oh. I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. 
There's only one piece left. Okay, get the last piece to yourself or save the piece for someone else. I need to keep my strength up too. That's it. Not such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee, Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice, but you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Thanks, Kenny. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. Shut You're one way. to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you <coughs> on that wall. God. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. What? He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Oh my god. I hate walkers. Ugh, you're such a you okay? pain in the butt. Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. God help us. It makes sense. In those first few days, it spread so fast. Car accidents, suicides... Everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. Back off! Oh, God. Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, neither do we. <coughs> I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother, Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. 
I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. God. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the Senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, I'm sure everyone would see it that way. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor in the... Who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, yep. we'd love to get you all out to the door. <coughs> like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, <coughs> I help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, yeah. but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shoot. Shoot, get down. No one's trying to cut it's you out of It's the bandits. Anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, and are. you guys were keeping it there's all to yourself. Oh no, there's yeah, a lot you know what? more. He ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! Oh my god. Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! This guy. Uh, God. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. We're gonna go ahead and end this episode or part here. Don't forget to press the like button. Follow me at Twitter at Clay Game. Share us on your Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to the Clay Plus Games community. And I will talk to you guys in the next episode, or next part, of episode 2 of The Walking Dead. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye, guys.